Collins. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and thanks to the Honourable Minister of Finance and Deputy Prime Minister, and thanks for opening her speech with a condemnation of the loss of women's rights, which appears to be imminent in the United States. I, I wanted to address the, the issue of the Budget Implementation Act, starting with, I think, a fair statement. I've gone through this, and of course, it's, it's a very long bill. I don't find any hidden uh, sneaky things that shouldn't be in a budget implementation bill. Um, that we experienced in 2012 two budget implementation bills, C38 and C45, that were disastrous. And then we had in 2018 one sneaky thing that I lament, which was the uh, putting in of a deferred uh, prosecution agreement under the Criminal Code, which shouldn't have been in a budget implementation act. I, I, it's hard to prove a negative, but right now it looks like there's nothing sneaky in this bill. My question to the minister, though, is uh, right, well, we have, some, we have some body language across the way. We'll look. But the main thing I wanted to ask the minister, she referred to climate crisis as an existential threat, as defined as a threat to existence. It's a threat to the existence of a habitable planet. We are currently on a trajectory, which we read the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change April 4th report, we're on a trajectory to an unlivable world this budget is not taking us away from that trajectory. It doubles down on it. Would the Honourable Minister consider re-examining this bill and all bills in relation to the IPCC report? The Honourable Minister of Finance. Uh, well, let me thank the member for Saanich Gulf Islands for her question and her observations. And let me start by confirming for her that all measures in the BIA are referenced in the budget text. Uh, I agree with her that climate change is an existential crisis, and I do want to acknowledge the many, many years that she has been working on this issue at a time before it had the wide recognition and support it does today. However, and with the greatest respect and affection, uh, which I hope she doesn't mind me publicly expressing. I disagree with her about the impact of this budget on climate change. This is a very green budget, and it will help Canada and the world. 